Nasser uh, in front. Very good gym. Very tough, tough fighters come out of that gym. Uh, and uh, he, uh, I expect, is going to be a very tough challenge for Dean James. But Dean James, one of the most talented guys in the UK. Joy to watch. Fantastic crowd. Akeem Amesh! Well, Amesh beats uh, in Muay Thai and K1 rules. His contest, of course, under full Thai rules. And his last five Thai rules, about four by way of stoppage. So the warning signs are on paper. And now please to welcome to the red corner from England. It's D. Uh, if there is a better story, Dave, of uh, triumph over adversity, you'd be hard pushed to find one that beats that of Dean James beating a life threatening cancer at the age of just 19. And if that wasn't enough, he goes on to win three world titles 21 victories in 25 for the hometown fighter. The polite, humble, the quietest guy, the nicest guy in the room, but and they say, don't let looks deceive you and beware of the quiet man and what a fighter this man is. So this one, as we mentioned, uh, 57 kilo, about five, three minutes round under A-class full tie rules. And Dean James in the red corner has got to start as the favourite tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, this international full Muay Thai rules bout will be contested in the minus 57 kilogram division over five three minute rounds. Your referee in charge when the action gets underway, the excellent Mr. Jesse Saunders. And so, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the blue corner, he's representing Team NASA in France. He brings a record of 20 wins with only the single defeat. Please welcome Hakim Hamesh. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, representing Brad Charles Sewer Jim in Wolverhampton, England. He brings a record of 32 wins with only six defeats. It's Dean, the Black Diamond, James. Okay, fire, send it the ring. Okay, guys, send it the ring. Okay, guys, you know the rules, you're fighting under full Muay Thai rules. Then of a knockdown, make sure you go to neutral corner. I will not begin a counter to do so. Top start, gentlemen. Back to corner, please. Here. Never underestimate anyone from uh, Team NASA in France. Very good record, this gentleman. And under these rules, his last five bouts, four wins all by way of KO or TKO. Dean James will be the favourite, but he must be very, very wary of the danger that is in front of him. Okay, you Five three-minute rounds, Ready? round number one, away we go. from orthodox to southpaw. Look of calm concentration on the face of Dean James using that range, the jab and the long lead leg. 
the, the the height difference you mentioned is considerable. What's perhaps even more noticeable, the difference in leg length between these two <laughs> men. Dean James's hips are up by uh, his opponent's top of his chest almost, it seems. Yeah, and Dean has got dangerous knee. He steps through. He does a step through left knee beautifully. Be interesting to see uh, that take an effect on a shorter opponent. It would be the ideal technique. So he just clips the inside of that front leg there as his opponent comes in. Oh, timing already from, from James is uh, it's just so sharp and so clinical. Working it, guys. The two now bustled onto the ropes. Just over our commentary position in the corner of the ring. Lovely turn, then attempted knee there from Dean James. Okay. Frenchman hey. has a bit of an issue with that, but it was one technique, perfectly legal. And just for the viewers at home, you perhaps aren't au fait with the, the rules. It has to be one continuous movement, is that correct? That's it. You can't put someone down, step back, and then kick him in the head. But if it was a, a movement that was started already, as he was going down, then it's, it's legal. Dean's not a malicious fighter like that. He wouldn't try and take a cheap shot. He's uh, skilled enough to do what counts. lead right and then the low kick from James to the inside of the uh, the shin see Greg Wooten in the the corner there with uh, team NASA I don't know if he spent some time over there or has a connection to the gym okay, right. nice working around the side there and Dean knee in the back knee in the kidney good score just showing dominance in position Looks like he sent up that left knee, yep. Okay, and Dean James's clinch is impeccable. There it is again. That walk-in knee is one of uh, Dean's favoured weapons. Ooh, as he takes a trip from the Frenchman. Oh, moments to go before the close. Oh, Brown one. Oh. There it is. Yep. James looks up at the, uh, the timer, and he'd be relatively happy with that, I'd imagine. Yeah, he's just still a feeling out process for these two, but nothing in there that Dean's got to worry about, I would say. Of course, coming up after this, the. Uh, final of the four-man tournament and of course uh, our viewers for English TV won't have seen those two semi-finals but safe to say we saw some pretty good action in there who would be your pick for the winner if I had to, had to push you on that one it's gonna be an interesting one uh, I would have to favor Luke Whelan as, as a favorite uh, I, I feel he was favorite going into it anyway uh, but for me Same he's definitely way. the stronger fighter out the two no disrespect to anybody else uh, I just think he's all-rounded, uh, very tough, uses his weapons well. well. He's got Connor Stewart in front of him, straight after this one. And the win it, two grand, yep, two grand prize money, so nobody's going to sit back at that. And away we go, round two. Dean James and Hakim Hamesh, the Frenchman, in the clinch. Nice just knee and then a dump from James. Good work. <laughs> the eyes between both guys. That knee is horrendous. Just sinking into your ribs like that. Here goes Dean's elbows. I've seen Dean James open up some big cuts in people's foreheads. He walks in. Pops that knee in, elbow in your forehead. It's just clinical. Right. He walks in with such confidence, doesn't he? Yeah. No hint of hesitancy at all in his work. Just straight in, into the clinch, driving those knees in. Every knee counts as well. None are soft. They're all placed well. Good scoring knees. Be a slighter frame, Dean James, but 
Seems to have plenty of strength with him. Lovely lead hook to the body. And then the knee in behind it, right in the clinch. He's, uh, he's dominant in this position. And Hamesh is really struggling to get a hold of Dean James in that clinch. Yeah, he's very wiry, like you say, but he gets his hips back perfectly and pops those knees in. And you can see a redding up on the rib cage of the Frenchman. We not want to be on the receiving end of too many of them. Some really painful knees from Dean James. Frenchman doesn't look phased, but he's getting scored on. Had a look, look up to the uh, the clock there, did Hamesh, just a minute mm. to go. That's showing that uh, some of those shots to the midsection have maybe taken the wind out of him. These fighters know, might like to know how long they have to go. Right hand to the body. It's James is momentarily taking a turn with his back to the ropes. Yeah, and he sits on the ropes quite confidently there, throws the body kick, blocks the return, throws another one. Just scoring really well all the time, Dean James. Nice balance and control there from James. Took a punch in the face, but nothing that bothers him. Gives a little smile. This is a, a Dean James masterclass at the moment. day in the office for Dean James in that go, corner, go, isn't it, really? And that's exactly what it is. The, the guy's been in there with some of the best in the world and taking their scalps. So this is just another day at the office. Very relaxed and composed. Does well to stand up there. He's driving in those short elbows on the inside, Dean James. Yeah. Unseen shots, but doing the damage and the knee up through the middle, then to the side of the hip. Okay, so right. Just right. locking strong, locks a really good right. position and pushes those knees through. That left knee is solid. Tony Myers just saying, Don't waste any energy, lock your hands, right, turn. Okay, so right. 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 Again, Dean stepping in with that left knee. French corner going pretty quiet. I don't know if they're running out of ideas a little bit. Not really sure what to say to their guy. Keep working, guys. Come on, keep working. He's, uh, he's getting right. need all over the place at the moment. Right. And he's not really returning anything. James just sort of manoeuvring him wherever he wants him. And uh, even when he has got his back to the ropes, you feel that that's almost out of choice. Yeah, definitely. It's all in Dean's plan. There he is again, dominant in the clinch. Calm, composed, methodical process that he goes through. And those oh, knees, those knees are, are taking effect now. You can see the, the grimace on the face of Kassem there, trying to hide it, but well. Right, it's the accumulative effect of these right. that are just slammed in again yeah. and again. You see the reddening of the side of the ribs of the Frenchman. Oh, right. real right. dominance there, getting around the back of right. it. 
Frenchman just tried to throw an uppercut elbow. He's tried that a couple of times, but Dean's smart enough to avoid that. Sam is really going to have a sore midsection tomorrow. That one landed well. Again, it's relentless kneeing to the midsection, isn't it? It's horrible. That step through left knee is a beautiful technique from Dean James, and he does it so effectively as they land on the table beside us. I hope you can still hear us. Apparently we're all no, good, so on Sam. we go. Okay, let's go. Wait. Referee just uh, telling the Frenchman listen up to his commands. to lift his knee up you might catch one in the chin but there are a few advantages to being smaller you can be more compact and keep your body and head guarded a little bit easier than if you're a tall fighter so there's pros and cons to both really i mean to me dean james he looks like a bigger athlete full stop can, yeah. can you see him oh, you see this one panning out now yeah i mean a lot of that comes down to the preparation if one of the fighters was prepared to cut weight for example, go in the sauna and lose four or five kilos and then weigh in. Would that make him weak, though? It, will, it could make him weak, but it also makes him a naturally bigger man. So it's, it's widely accepted in a lot of fight sports, and perhaps one of them cut weight, one of them didn't, and then you can see the difference in size because of that. Okay, thank you, Andrew. We're going to hand back to the fight once again. Here we go. Rejoin the action here. Dean James from Prao Chao against Hakim Hamesh from Team NASA. Great left body kick landing there by Dean James, who has really given us a masterclass today. Showing all the skills of Muay Thai, kicking, punching, elbows and knees. But for me, the, dominance, uh, the dominant weapon here has been Dean James's knees. Step through left knee and then just being in the clinch. Oh, sort of teep there from James back to the rope again. But I just feel like wherever he is, it's because that's where he wants to be. Just crashes in that body kick. Kassem trying to force something. So it's more out of desperation than out of a, a premeditated game plan, you would assume, Dave. Yeah, I see Dean lining up these elbows now. I think he's. He's played enough. He's going to pop a couple of elbows through. Let's see. It's always scoring well with that solid body kick. Let's Works around the back fight. again. Go, His opponent go. giving him that. Come fight. 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 Go. Come on. Come on. Fight. I think the Frenchman's out of ideas here as he eats another heavy, heavy knee. Okay, so come on. Hey. Forward comes James again into the clinch. Looking for the knee, there it is. Yeah, big uppercut elbow went up there. I think it just missed. Hey. Thankfully for the Frenchman. Hey. It's got to be disheartening this when you just technically so well beaten. We've got another three, four minutes to go. Spirit. Look at those knees from Dean James. Oh, and the, the body's really open for these now. Oh, up, that up, one up. hurt. Hey. Um, uh, Hamesh, rather. Incidentally, so Kassem is, is another. Yeah, he doesn't want to be. Scouts that uh, Dean James has taken on his on his resume. Yes, in years gone by. Up again. Let's go. Come on. Hey. Bit of a record on repeat, this. It is, it's uh, simple but effective work from 
Dean James has found the uh, the solution to the problem in front of him. And well, if something's not broke, don't fix it. And he's just carrying on with what's working for him. Yep, scoring really well as we finish round four. Easy fight for Dean James, I'd say. Well, by the look of him, it, it could be the end of the first round, couldn't it? He hasn't put him away, though. But it's almost like he hasn't quite tried to put him away, you know? It's, it, it's sort of a, he's operating in third gear because that's what he needs to for tonight. If, if he needed to find another fourth, fifth or even sixth gear, you feel that it's there. You, yeah, you feel that Dean could finish this at any time. Perhaps content to get the round under his belt and uh, just go through the motions and really, although the, the Frenchman, as we know, is, is dangerous on paper, doesn't look as if he can find a way to turn the tide in this fifth and final round against uh, uh, Dean James, who is uh, just on a different level at the moment. Yeah, you can see the frustration on the Frenchman's face. Everything he does, he's just getting, getting a need all over the place, out clinched, out kicked. Come on, let's go. Come on. Touch gloves, guys. Final round. Touch gloves. Final round. Here we go for the fifth and final round. Ready? Right. Two sets. Well, this will be where, if it's going to happen, the Frenchman's going to got to make it happen now. Right, 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 right. And you'd expect him to do nothing less than give it 110 in these final three minutes. And whether 110 is going to be enough is an entirely different question as Dean James just dumps him to the canvas again, drives in that body kick. I don't Caught. think it's a lack of effort. I just think he just hasn't got what Dean's got. He hasn't got the uh, the answer to, to the, the Dean James onslaught here. Come on. They're saying he needs a finish in the French corner. And uh, I agree, he literally needs a knockout to win. As we go into the last two minutes of this boat. James just jabbing, measuring the distance. Slips outside of the Frenchman's and then drives in that body kick. And a second, oh, and that took its toll. Could you see the reddening, bright pink, the back of... It's just body kicking him for fun now. Frenchman's a bit of a punch bag at the moment, no disrespect, but it's a Dean James masterclass, as I said before. Great little turn and knee there. Again, Dean just doesn't even seem to be trying, does he? Watch for that step through left knee. Skimming shot off the uh, off the midsection. That's going to be so sore. Nice lead elbow from James there. Right. Dominance in the clinch let's again. Go, let's go. Right. Oh, nothing else. Hamesh has shown great durability over the last five rounds. And <laughs> such as right. such as the confidence and relaxation and control. James didn't even realise his mouthpiece was out. Quite frankly, right. I don't think it even <laughs> mattered to him at that stage. I right. think he realised he wasn't actually getting hit at all in the fight and thought, I probably don't need this. Nice combination from James, and just perhaps we're seeing gear four. Tony Myers telling him knee straight Stop down the middle. Let's go. Fight. As we go into the last 30 seconds or so Stop of this five-round bout. Wait, wait, wait. Stop turning your back. Let's go. Fight. Come on. Up next, we've got the uh, the final of the four-man Muay Thai Grand Prix uh, tournament. Two thousand pounds on the line for the winner of that fight. Then we head into the co-main event with Paul Karpowitz taking on Jamie Whelan. And finally, the main event with Adrian Lopez coming up against Damian Trainer, making his big comeback. Stella Knight still ahead here at the O2 in London. But Dean James has gone through the motions and put on a bit of a masterclass in front of a sold-out O2. And, well, Kim Hamesh gave it a good go, but he was well beaten, and I think as inevitable decisions go, this is up there. Yeah, I think that was a very easy win for Dean James. Like we said before, a very talented gentleman there. Great ambassador for the sport. Well done.
Ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for both men after five hard-fought rounds of action. And after those five rounds of action, your judges have reached a unanimous decision, all in favor of your winner, fighting out of the red corner is Dean, the Black Diamond, James. And show your appreciation for our brave runner-up, Hakeem Hamesh. Now the fight's just finished. Dean James has taken the win. He's fought against the best of the best, and he certainly proved himself to be the best yeah, again. Definitely. Now, Hakim, how are you doing? Oh, Hakim, come this way. Hakim, come this way. Can you translate for him? Oh, Hakim, uh, I can't even speak French. Bah, je suis déçu de mon combat parce que j'aurais pu mieux faire. Je n'ai pas su trouver la solution. Il était grave de taille. Exactly. Now, it would show us up, isn't it? Because we can't speak French. It's absolutely yeah, so typical, isn't it? Absolutely. French can be <laughs> OK, so let's get Dean in now. Congratulations. I can see you limping there. You picked up a few injuries, but that was a fight that you did well. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, didn't get the start that I wanted. And I smashed my leg up in the first round, so forced us to, to try and change the game plan a little bit. But um, no, he was a good opponent. He was game, and, and he did test me in areas, so it, it's really good. Generally happy that I've got some things to work on, but I think after every fight you should have something, shouldn't you? Yeah, I thought you was dominant throughout. I mean, you, you, obvious reach advantage. Yeah. Have you done well? Yeah, I think it's just trying to use because because Nassar are the, the very tough and the strong, um, very game lads. So like I hit him with some decent shots, uh, but I knew it wasn't gonna stop him from doing what he wanted to do, which is come forward. So the whole idea was to back him up and keep him back. Um, obviously, smashing my leg up a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, You've got another one, you'll be all right. It's one of those, isn't it? There you go, great boss, well done, mate. Well, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I'll hand you back to now to Pete. We've got three fights left. Over to Pete.